Welcome back to Real Life Reviews on the Living Bread Homestead. Today we're going to be reviewing a DIY whole house water filtration system by Simpure. Now just for context, our homestead is located in north central Mississippi. It's a pretty small farming community. And the municipal water that we receive is not always the best. A lot of times the farmers will inadvertently drop the tabletop and you can see here in the pool, you know, with a lot of particles in it. So I went ahead and had the original well rebuilt that was on the property and I put a valve in to where we could open and close municipal water if we need to in case of an emergency or power failure. The water supply that comes into the home is fairly easy to work with and I added a pressure gauge and an off-market spin down filter but I just wasn't satisfied with the quality of water I was still getting in throughout the house. I started doing a deep dive and came across a company called Simpure. I reached out to them to see if they had a solution for me and they certainly did and their fix was a DIY three-stage water filtration system and they also included a spin down filter as well and we'll get to that here in just a minute. So on this homestead we don't take any chances. We pre-plan plan and then plan again. I dry out every project that I have. And in this case with plumbing, you only get one chance to glue these parts together right. So going to the drawing board is critical. And we also have an emergency hot water tank here in case of a power failure. So I have to incorporate that into my plumbing design as well. Instead of adding it directly to the cinder block wall, which I could do that if I wanted to, I did want to go ahead and frame the wall out. In my case, I had to leave the plumbing intact. You will likely not have that same issue when you take this project on yourself. On this homestead, most everything we do is DIY. We don't really farm out anything unless I just can't get to it or it's something I'm physically not able to do. And you can see here, I do like to use F26 along with Tapcons whenever I'm building a wall out on it. It just makes sense and it'll be there forever. It gives it a lot of extra strength. So now we head over to the filter itself. They have the standard one inch threads and that works for us really good because we have three quarter inch PVC coming in. But you do need to go ahead and wrap them with Teflon tape. And I'll also use silicon. I have used silicone on, on all of my plumbing projects when it comes to threading. I even use it on the pool and the pool is under immense pressure and I never have any leaks. So I highly recommend the silicon. This is the spin down filter that they sent as well. It's the DC5P. I had an aftermarket one previously and I highly recommend it, especially if you live in a rural area. This thing catches all of your heavy particulates that come through. So the spin down filter for us was a must. So now as I'm test fitting everything, I go ahead and install a pressure gauge in the very beginning because I want to know what my, my well pressure is coming into the house. Then I add a union, then the spin down filter, and then a union isolation valve on both sides in case I ever need to remove it for any reason whatsoever. They have three gauges. The gauges will ultimately tell you if your filters are flowing, if they have debris or need to be changed out. I did want to also add another pressure gauge at the very end to make sure that the same pressure coming in was the same pressure coming out of the filter. If there's a discrepancy, there's an issue with the filter and now it's ready to be hung. So as I start looking at these filters, they each have a different role. So your filters may be different than mine. I have three different types. You wanna make sure that the filters are always right side up. You wanna also make sure that you have both O-rings on the filter housing. This will keep you from having any leaks. And here I am completely finished with the project, only cosmetic things, and I have some extras that I'm adding on here. Getting it on the wall and putting everything together was less than one hour. So you can see here when I'm testing out the spin down filter, I wanna make sure that I flush it. Very good to get anything out that's in the line already. And here in a minute, you can really see how many particles the spin down filter is catching. For the water tightness test, just bring up the pressure slowly. You want to make sure that you don't have a complete disaster or anything like that. And a small leak at this point can be easily corrected. So just bring them up accordingly and make sure that you watch your gauges from right to left. They should be rising in accordance with each other. 
you have to bleed the system. There's buttons on the top of each filter and you have to depress them and air will come out. And in the very last one, in my case, you'll see carbon deposit come out. That's very normal. You've got to get it out and you will see that throughout your system for about two days. I think we saw it in our toilets and sinks for about two days, but it washes completely out. So I'm not completely done at this stage. I still have to do some more things. I'm really impressed with it though. I had to go out, I, I, I picked up a new sink, Hula water softener, that's not part of it, but I do have hard water here. I wanted to soften it. I'll leave a link to the description, but this is not part of the review. It's just something else I added. Now that I've got it clean, I can also keep it soft. And I did want to make the pipe to where it matched the filter and I found the perfect color. It's a Krylon Farm Implement Massey Ferguson Gray and it matches that frame of the filter perfectly. So I got the sink installed, I've masked everything off and now it's finished. It looks wonderful. I was so impressed I went ahead and I added a, a paper towel dispenser to it. And if you see to the left, you'll see that I even added an ice maker. I'm gonna to get to that here in a minute, but I wanna go over the 120 day test. Even on a well that's 100 feet deep, you can still see how much deposit this filter is caught in the uh, transparent filter. Now it is time to change filters and we're about to do that, but I wanna go over here. I was so impressed with the clarity of the water that I added an ice maker. Look how clear this ice is. It's unbelievable. It tastes good. It just, I am so impressed. The pool water turned out clearer than you ever could imagine. No more dirty water. Bath water even smells good. Everything, I mean, you gotta think, we're not the only ones that depend on this water. Our animals depend on this water. All the livestock and all of our, you know, our gardening. So thankful that Simpure collabed with us on this and sent us these products so that we could review them. We certainly appreciate your time watching this video. And if you like what you see, hit that thumbs up for us. Get this message out. Share this if you'd like. We hope that you would consider joining our community. Until our next content, may the Lord bless you.